What's up, YouTube? It's me, Courtney, ECPI RN graduate, Courtney J R N official, coming at you with an update about my first week working. So, I accepted a position a while back at um, one of the local facilities in my area um, on the ICU. So I started last Monday, today is Monday, April 25th. I started on the 18th. So I am one week down as far as orientation goes and starting this new job. I have yet to work the floor. So coming in, um, the first week was a lot and I was like, like I'm gonna say slightly exhausted because there was just a lot so a lot but not a lot at the same time so the first day um, we had like a system-wide virtual orientation there were almost like 200 people on this thing and you did it out of the comfort of your own home it was like fantastic that was only three or four hours and it just really introduced you to the company and to everywhere like you know all the different buildings that they have the company is called Sentara, so it, they introduced you to everything that they have to offer all the different hospitals and la 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 and then they told you for the second half so that was the first half of the day the second half of the day was to be spent doing computer-based training modules cbts and so um unfortunately i did not have access to the system to be able to do the cbts um so that was that i had to make those cbts up or make that time up and you know on the back end day two we had to go into the facility, so into like actual Centera, but like the medical office building, not onto the ICU. And in, at that time, we were supposed to have like the full day, eight hours of doing CBTs again. I got there at eight o'clock in the morning, piddled on the computer, did not have access. Everyone else, it was me and one other person that did not have access. Everyone else, they're probably about seven or eight of us total all of the rest of them had access and me and this one other person didn't my um education coordinator wasn't in and i had been calling it like i called them on monday and then i called them again on tuesday and they were giving me trouble tickets and la 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 and i was just like what the heck like now i'm gonna be like a whole day and a half behind on these cbts which they give you a boat load so um the week before, I'm gonna say like the Friday before I started, I got a call from my um, education coordinator. She's like the unit educator and she trains like new hires and for <laughs> critical care. So these are all the CBTs that I have to do. Everything, this entire list, and then on the back page this list and these are all done like in person so all of the other ones are computer based and um the ones from the other page that were in person are of course in person that's a lot and there's nothing that's like you know i mean you can click through but you have to take a test at the end of them and you have to pass the test within 80 so you actually you know you got to pay attention to the material at least know like be familiar with the material before so some stuff is like critical care nursing um but there's a lot of annual regulatory stuff about safety blood administration bloodborne pathogens it workplace violence safety again and then you do like your clinical division orientation which that had to be done first because that was based off of whatever building you're going to be working at privacy breach fall prevention medical response team stroke hand hygiene um and then some of the stuff more specific to critical care was um the um, point of care testing istat the glucometer Epic, which is the system that majority of companies in our area use uh, for documentation purposes, payroll, then you get into more like medical kind of stuff, the Braden scale, moderate, sed moderate sedation, um, high flow oxygen, blood cultures. Oh, 
god sepsis it's so much stuff here and then like the icu specific list it talks about iv and midline uh, medical transport dysphagia hemorrhagic strokes it's so much stuff up here and i have been able to like push through quite a bit of it um not majority of it but i'm trying to start with like all of the stuff that just as a new hire you have to do i'm gonna dive in and do a couple more today um here at home and just you know like you they pay you for them but you have to um do like it's like day shift work like it's not night shift work it's day shift so I'm going to dive into a couple more of those here soon. It's just a lot. Um, I come to find out, I had so much trouble with accessing in the system. So I left on the second day, like about 930. And she told me to check every hour. So I was like, okay, I'll check it again at 1030. Um, you know, to see if I can get into the system. And I ended up leaving. I was the only person. So everybody had on like their appropriate scrubs that they were supposed to be wearing or whatever uniform they're supposed to wear for their role except me uh, my scrubs i ordered scrubs online so my best friend told me about these figs super expensive very comfortable very good quality material very expensive so i bought one set from them which was too big so i had to send that back and then i bought another set from a different company which were also like kind of too big so I wanted a set <clears throat> that fit better. So I went to like two local uniform stores here. Shout out to York Uniform. Like that's a good place to go. Like they're in Yorktown, but they're a little, you know, out of the way, but they had everything I needed. So I ended up going there and I got like a scrub set and I was able to try it on. So I knew it fit really well. So I went there. I got home just right about 11 o'clock I got home and I immediately checked the system and I could get in so I sent a text message to the lady who was taking my education educators place and she said yeah just work from home start the CBTs work from home and I was like okay perfect so I did that on Tuesday Wednesday and Thursday OMG so I live in Hampton and I had to go and report over on Wednesday it was 7 15 in the morning and Thursday it was 7 45 in the morning to um, the it's the same it's the Centera Sim Center so it's the same campus as the um, Centera College of Nursing in Chesapeake this was like a 42 minute ride from my house and so I end up taking my son to my best friend's house in the morning and she took him to school because her daughter and my son go to the same school so worked out great as far as that goes but good god getting up at 5 30 in the morning not my thing chose night shift for a reason um while at the simulation center so i just want to say everybody there was super nice there was no pressure to do anything and it was highly 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 organized i absolutely like really enjoyed it we did everything hands-on so we worked on the eye stat we worked on the glucometer the iv pumps that are, that they specifically have at my facility worked on or reviewed worked on high alert meds and how to put those into the ivs um we did like a mock code blue a mock head to toe assessment a mock mrt ekgs ivs lab draws talked about fall prevention like we did so much stuff and everything was hands-on like you had like a group and there were six people in my group and you know you went from station to station and there was either 30 45 minutes or an hour worth of training that you got of you know training and hands-on so it was kind of like a crash course in nursing and i thoroughly enjoyed it it was great had to be there super early but it was great the drive sucked but it was really good and then on friday that was day five so it was supposed to be a half a day of cbt's and but because my educator was back we actually met up with her she gave me this training binder let me show you the critical care training binder so orientation is 12 weeks and over the 12 weeks this is everything you have to complete pray for me 
there's a lot of material in here a lot of good material so i also met up with my nurse manager and she went over like one of the tabs in there we got our badges and badge buddies and it was a pretty good day so but i was on the move the whole day so i didn't really get to do many cvts i think i only completed like one so i'm gonna try to work on some of those now here shortly um today is monday the 25th i had a short day today um because at the end of the week i'm actually going to go on to the floor so my preceptor only works thursday friday saturday or sunday which sucks but i've heard a lot of good things about her like she's a really good teacher and i would you know i would rather be with a really good teacher you know and just kind of have to deal with that orientation is going to be like the next 12 weeks i believe 12 12 13 or 14 weeks something like that um by the end of june i should be done and that'll be that badge super excited so yeah so far i've had a really good experience everybody's like really nice and really like you know helpful so it's been good i've met some um nice young ladies and gentlemen who are starting or started the same day i did and i've enjoyed my time so far all right, I will keep you posted. Week one official. Courtney, out.